UNAM Vice Chancellor Kenneth Matengu was one of the speakers during a visit by the presidents of Namibia and Botswana last week. While at the coast, Presidents Nangolo Mbumba and Mohwetsi Masisi visited Cleanergy Solutions Namibia near the Valfis Bay International Airport. The joint venture between local company Ottawa and List Group and Belgian CMB Tech is set to be the first green hydrogen production plant and fuel station in Namibia. Professor Matengu highlighted the need to strengthen the local human resource capacity through the Green Hydrogen Research Institute. This institute is meant to serve as a, a, a competency and quality infrastructure establishment for the country. It has uh, six centers. These centers range from green hydrogen production to transportation, to technologies, to environment, to legal and trade. Uh, and within these uh, centers, we have uh, seven laboratories. So with the, green, uh, with the academy, we are working with uh, clean energy to ensure that the short courses that would be provided here, we teach based on scientific methods and research, but also that we support them to make sure that these short courses are accredited and certified. A hydrogen academy has been set up at the clean energy site to equip Namibians with skills. It's very important uh, to invest in upskilling and skills development because we are embarking upon a very big uh, a journey of, of a new industry where the skills are not as yet present in the country. And as we grow, we want to invest in these skills that by the time we reach the large projects, we actually have Namibians in the industry familiar with these type of technologies. Kraft says it is Cleanergy's intention to develop a local economy around green hydrogen instead of exporting everything that will be produced. We are supporting projects with uh, Transnamib where we uh, uh, want to support uh, uh, hydrogen powered uh, uh, locomotive and we are supporting other projects in the port and uh, maybe later in the mines etc. So it's really important to have also a local economy around these green fuels. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Valfe Spey.